What is helpful for us as we think about what the Bible teaches and the clarity it teaches on or the ambiguity it teaches on, it's helpful for us to have a category of doctrines that lots of people have referred to as a theological triage. If you go to the hospital with an injury or a sickness, you, the first thing that you will encounter is a triage desk. And there a medical professional analyzes your symptoms and then determines the severity of your sickness and then will move you up on the order of help, depending on how serious it is. We need to have a, 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 a sort of categorization of triage for our theology, for what the Bible teaches. And I wanna to suggest to you four categories of theological triage. We need to have an understanding in our mind of doctrines, teachings from the Bible that we die for, divide for, debate for, and decide for. Die, divide, debate, decide. Doctrines we die for are simply doctrines that you must hold to, otherwise you are not a Christian. So these are, these are doctrines that are so essential to our Christian faith that if you do not hold to them, then you will not go to heaven. So we would die for these doctrines before we allowed ourselves to change our mind on them. Then there are doctrines we would divide for. These are doctrines that we can disagree with other Christians on, but we could not stay in the same church and disagree on them. So what's your views on baptism, for example, or church government, for example? We just, we simply could not be in the same church and hold differing views on these things. And so we, we would divide for them. So we acknowledge that people who disagree with us on this point are still Christians, they're brothers and sisters in Christ, but they can't be fellow church members with us. Third are doctrines that we would debate for. So these are doctrines that are serious enough that we're not just going to roll over and act like they're unimportant. We're not going to act like it doesn't matter what you think on these things. These are doctrines that are important enough that we're going to debate for. We're going to encourage a healthy, robust discussion of views on these things because they're important. But they're not important enough for us to break fellowship in our church. If another Christian, another church member disagrees with us on this issue, we're still going to remain in fellowship together. Lastly, there are doctrines that we simply decide for. These are doctrines where the Bible is most quiet on. These are things where, like what Paul says in Romans 14, 5, that we all just need to be decided in our own mind. You, you know, the, it's really difficult to see exactly what the Bible says definitively on this issue. And so we can just, you, you, you decide. We can study the Bible, we can think deeply about this and do research, but we're not gonna, we're not gonna enter into serious debates over this. We're just going to let everyone follow their own conscience as they seek to study the Bible and apply it to their life in these issues. So as you think about how you are engaging with Christians when you disagree with them, run this triage through your disagreement. What category does this, uh, does this disagreement fall into? Is this a doctrine you die for, divide for, debate, or just simply decide for? And friends, my concern is that many Christians today have placed doctrines that are way down here in the decide for category, way up higher than they should be. And so because we don't have these four different gears, we treat everything like it's a doctrine we must die for. We have, we have to die on this hill. And if, if you don't agree with my Christian perspective on this response, then I, mean, I don't even know if we can be in the same church together. Or, or I'm, I'm questioning your faithfulness or your, your intelligence or your ability to be a competent adult who makes responsible decisions. Uh, the, the Bible has much to say. So we, we will turn to what Paul exhorts us in Romans 14 and 1 Corinthians 8 and 9 as good models of how Christians can disagree over issues that simply just need to be decided on.